I'm a lifelong entrepreneur. In the fourth grade, I started a lucrative friendship bracelet business, and in high school, I cornered the babysitting market in Minneapolis. A few years ago, I started one of the first lifestyle blogs, so I'm sort of partially responsible for the selfie, I want to apologize. And a few years after that, I entered into one of the first incubator programs here in New York City. And it was while a part of this program that for the first time in my life as a entrepreneur, as a black woman, I felt invisible. Here I am, this optimistic Midwesterner, Ivy League educated business owner, but I was told by the head of that incubator program that he never met a black woman who ever received venture funding, and the likelihood of me ever receiving funding was zero, and so I should leave the program. And like many women in tech, I did just that. Often, as women, we're told to make ourselves small, that the fear of failure is somehow better than the joy of success, and that our power somehow threatens others. And so we should stay in our lane, stay put, be small. And I'm here to tell you that you do the world a disservice by being small. So be big and go big. Fortunately for me, I had this blog that I later grew and was able to sell. But ever since that moment in that incubator, I've thought about who has the right to think big? Who has that ability? My name is Catherine Finney. I'm the founder of Digital and Divided. We're a social enterprise that fosters economic growth by supporting, investing, training, promoting women of color tech entrepreneurs. We're fundamentally changing the face of tech by going big. And we've helped over 2,000 people. We've helped our fellows raise over $15 million in venture funding, proving that, yes, black women can raise funding. And in 2015, we started a project called Project Diane. Uh, it was a study, the first study, on black women in tech entrepreneurship. And the results were really quite startling. We found that the average raise by black women was $36,000. That there were only 15 black women-led startups that had raised over a million dollars. And when you compare this with the fact that mostly male, mostly white, failed startups raised at least 1.3 million, it kind of shows you that the worst, well, worst male startups raise more than the best black female startups. And most people would look at these stats and data and sort of cry and feel like, oh my god, what can we do? And we did that for all about a day. Um, but then we saw that there's great opportunity here. Here's 7% of the population, the number one fastest growing group of women entrepreneurs, the people who comprise over 80% of all new women-led businesses since 2007, the makers of your Thursday night entertainment, the creators of Lemonade, who are all being ignored simply because of their race and gender. So in 2016, Digital and Undivided decided to take our own advice and go really big. And we're opening an innovation center in Atlanta, Georgia called Big. Uh, it's the first innovation center for women of color in tech. We have our accelerator program is housed there. We also have a variety of other programs. We're working with people to also start the first angel syndicate for black and Latino women founders called Angels, Harriet Angels, as well as the Harriet Fund, which is the first fund that will provide seed funding to black and Latino women founders. So, who wants to join me in supporting and growing the fastest growing group of women entrepreneurs? Thank you. See me afterwards. <laughs>